Yes. All right. So, Ian. Yes. You got to drive the Renegade with the Daystar lift kit on it? I did. All day on 7 Mile? Yes. What was your experience? You know, I got to be honest with you. The cool thing about that rig is people always say, I want to come to Moab, but I don't think my rig's built enough because I don't have 60s and 40s and lockers. And I think what people don't realize is Moab's really forgiving. I mean, you can wheel a lot of places with a really sort of mildly built rig just like that. I mean, I think the lift kit definitely helps because the bigger tires gets it up. I can actually get over some of the ledges. But probably the coolest thing, I thought it'd be pulling that winch cable all day. You thought it'd be your best friend, actually. I did, but that's, that's also comforting with that rig because, yeah, you got the lift kit and you got the wheels, but knowing that you have a winch in the worst case scenario to get out, that's a good thing. But never having to use it once on seven mile rim, Says a lot about that. that and that's a rig. difficult trail. That's not even an easy trail. That's the one you really got to work at. No. Were you planning to take that on that trail? You know, I was. I was going to drive it. And when I told you that, you're like, hmm, <laughs> would you mind if I drove it? And I did say yes. Yes. I think it was cool. I mean, it's true. Seven Mile Rim is a hard trail. So if you were going to come here and just hit a bunch of easy stuff, I think it's perfect. It proves that, you know, the Renegade gets a lot of flack. It does. Because it's not the cool G. But so did the XJ when it first came out. Absolutely. But I think the reality is, is that if you're a 16 year old kid and you want your first Jeep, you're not buying a Rubicon. Right. There's just, it's just not available. Right. That is attainable for that first Jeep owner. And with a little bit of modifications come out here to Moab, we've proved it. it it'll do its job. Gotcha. Now you did use the rock sliders quite a bit. Oh, I used the heck out of those rock sliders. <laughs> so what, do you, what do you think of the rock sliders? Uh, they were great. You know, honestly, I thought I crawled underneath it when we were having lunch, and I thought the whole bottom would just be scarred up because some of those ledges are serious. But the rock sliders held up great, kept it up in the air. The breakover angle on it is not bad. No, it's really not. You think it's going to be really bad because it's so fat on either end, but it, it really wheels. Honestly, it's kind of fun. It really is. It's a, it takes some talent. Yeah. I mean, it's not something somebody brand new is going to be able to do right away. No. But someone who's brand new is not going to go to Seven Mile Rim. No, that's a good point. Someone yeah. who's brand new is going to go run some really, really easy trails. Right. And I mean, it would get you into some of the remote campsites here in Moab and some stuff like that. And it's a great entry level rig with just a little bit of modification. You've got a wheeler. Right. Your first wheeler. Which is a lot to say for, you know, such a little car. Exactly right. Well, thanks, Ian. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks for driving. Fun. I'm glad it, I'm glad you loaned it to me, <laughs> and I didn't have to worry about it all day. <laughs>